Hello guys, in this video we will be going through how to render an animation or a video that you created in Maya, okay? So let's say you've got an animation playing, which is the gun spinning or whatever, yeah? It don't matter what you've, what you've got because it's the same principle. It don't matter what scene you're using or anything like that, okay? Just go to rendering settings and then you want to change this to whatever it is, so gun spinning. Okay. Then you might want to change this to JPEG or Targa. Okay. So I'll use JPEG. And then you want name, number, extension. Okay. And then you want from frame one to however much your animation goes on for so mine's up to 50 send frame 50 and keep a preset at what you want it if you want it in hd you got to change that obviously but mine's in 640 by 400 and 80 yeah and that should be it so you close it then you go on to render settings rendering render and click this here, the batch render. But you don't need any of that, so just go to batch render and close. Allow access. If that comes up on yours, save it. Also, you'll know if it's doing it because it'll come up down here, and mine's done zero percent, which is because this scene is like really HD kind of thing like it might take ages to do it so just bear with me also guys take note where it's saving okay users are in documents my projects default images okay I think you can change it but I don't know how to one minute I've just found this out now and go to edit change project image directory then you can see here you can change it all okay all right all right guys i stopped my batch render because it's taking too long and also it's done the images now it's kind of done it in the wrong place just zoomed up on the body i don't know why and this gun is actually low poly so don't say ah, it's you know crap and all that lot if these were bump maps, it would look <coughs> pretty good. Uh, but yeah, it's low poly. Anyway, so what you're doing now is you go into Windows Movie Maker or something like that. And you go to Add Videos and Photos. <coughs> I don't know why I've got these. Okay, um, so you go to Documents, Maya, Projects, Default, Images. And you grab the ones which you're using. That didn't do. Right. Now if you click play, it's too long. Okay. Remember that 12 frames or a second. Right. So you've got to do 12 divided by one. So I select each of these. And then you go to edit duration. And it should be 0 0.083. Okay. Like that. Okay. Now I wish it did fully batch render. If you want to see it fully batch rendered, just wait and I'll do it. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Well, this is my video rendered. I just want to say if you created an animation and rendered it out using my tutorial. Uh, you can post a video uh, response and I'll watch animation and I'll comment on it. Alright, cheers. Well, that's it.